Good morning, my dear students. Today, we will discuss a new chapter that is the molecular basis of inheritance. So, this is the chapter from biology, second PU, and uh, from the unit that is uh, genetics. Okay, this is the sixth chapter. In this chapter, we are going to discuss that is a uh, uh, the properties of the genetic material, then historical background of the genetic material and also the types of uh, nucleic acids and uh, what are the experiments to conduct that to prove the DNA as a genetic material, the structure of the DNA and also we are going to discuss uh, that is uh, uh, what uh, that is uh, operon. Later we came to know what is operon. Okay, first we will discuss in order to call as a genetic material. Okay, so uh, the molecule uh, what are the properties it should have? In properties will be another discuss one. Okay, the properties the first. The properties, the first property is that it should able to replicate. The first property is that it should able to replicate. So, what do you mean by this uh, replicate or replication? Okay. So, any molecule, okay, in which it can able to produce its own copy. Andre, Avundu molecule, and own copy and Andre, exact copy and produce Martha can the capacity, a molecule here we go. Anta on the molecule and another in the healthy way, genetic material and there we go healthy way. Okay. So, the second property is that, that is, it should able to show mutation. Mutation means what? So, you know already definition, definition or either uh, the, otherwise you, if you ask what is mutation, it is a sudden heritable changes in which it will shows the, uh, the physiological, uh, that is a physical appearance in that physical appearance the changes we will see so if it is uh, changed in the genetic material and the sudden nagi inheritable changes in other changes to andre so next offspring sali bartha kanta undu physical character sali na hu changes anna note tv anta undu process anna na vina anta health tv mutation and tell you to health tv what we call mutation the mutation it is nothing but sudden inheritable changes in the genetic material what we will call it as the mutation so if the genetic material it is has shows the uh, mutation then also uh, we can call it as that molecule as a genetic material the third very important uh, characteristic feature of what the properties of genetic material is that the third so it should able to Obey that is a Mendelian character center would to help you. What we call that is that is a it should able to obey Mendelian characteristic features. Mendelian characters. So if you ask uh, what are Mendelian characters in the previous uh, chapter that is a law of independent assortment uh, that is law of segregation you already studied in the 10th standard those uh, statements and all and the same statements you are going to discuss in this year okay completely and in detail okay. So if the molecule or that is uh, the genetic material obey what that is a uh, uh, these Mendelian characters, okay, then also we can call it as that is a, it is a genetic material and the last property is that, that is a, what we will call it as, that is the, uh, the genetic material should translate the particular information that is a coded information for, which is coming from the DNA. So, translate e statement and an image held the other so confusion on good. Other can and simple like held the So, the genetic material should participate or to give information to the 
ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ನಮ್ಮ ಸೆಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನನ್ನು ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೋ ಅಂಥ ಒಂದು ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲನ್ನು ಸಮೇತ ನಾವು ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸೊ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ದ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಒಬೇ ದ ರೆಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಒಬೇ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯುಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಶೋ ಮ್ಯುಟೇಷನ್ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಒಬೇ ದ ಮೆಂಡಲಿಯನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವೇನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ದ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಿ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ದ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಜ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ the two types of nucleic acids are one it is the dna and another one it is the rna dna and the rna are the two types of nucleic acids okay so the before going to this uh, detail okay dna and the rna where it is present so let me know some the history some uh, uh historical uh, background okay so the first time the nucleic acids it was uh, discovered by what we will call it as that is uh, in the year of that is a uh, 1869 okay in the year 1869 so in the pus cells in which cells that is a uh, pus cells okay so by the name frederick mischel okay so by the name frederick mischel he who discovered what that is uh, the in the pus cells okay he identified some of the molecules those molecules which are found in the where that is a within the nucleus in the 1869 by the name that is a the frederick mischel he who identified what that is a some of the molecules in that nucleus that's why he called it as that is a named it as a nucleon okay what we call it as that is a nucleon okay so nucleon ant helbittu kada okay so the nucleon uh, after later okay uh, by the name one, one more scientist uh, who call it as that is a uh, altman altman in the year that is a uh, 1889 okay 1889 alli en maadta so altman annonu so he also further investigated in that uh, nucleon okay uh, that molecules he saw some of the acidic nature okay so acidic nature na observe madidrinda okay those molecules he called it as that is a nucleic acids okay 
okay what he called that is the nucleic acids so in the 1869 in the pus cells okay by the name frederick mischer he who identified the molecules those molecules he called it as that is a nuclein because he identified within the nucleus that's why he called it as a nuclein and the later uh, by the uh, another scientist by name uh, that is uh, Altman he who identified that is uh, in the year of 1889 he who called it as because of the acidic nature of that molecule he who called it as a nucleic acids okay nucleic acids and then to hand okay Hagadre, so there are two types of nucleic acids uh, where it is present okay so the nucleic acids uh, they are uh, of two types okay two types of nucleic acids one it is the dna another one it is the rna okay so dna it is also called as that is a deoxyribonucleic acid so what we call it as that is a deoxyribonucleic acids rna it is also called as that is a ribose nucleic acids okay so here while you see the structure that is uh, uh, the deoxyribonucleic acids and the ribose nucleic acids uh, structure so it will give us what that is a major difference okay later we will discuss that is a with, uh, now if you look on to the where it is present the dna and the rna so though dna it acts as a genetic material so it is present in the nucleus and some of the organelles okay so in the nucleus uh, within the nucleus of the all uh, eukaryotic cell and also uh, that is the prokaryotic cell also in the cytoplasm it is present okay prokaryotic cell and ring so the prokaryotic cell in which the cell uh, without nucleus uh, nucleus and the nuclear membrane okay so what we will call it as that is a prokaryotic cell in that we will see the dna and it is embedded in the cytoplasm and in case of the prokaryotic cell it is present in the nucleus and the some of the organelles which are those organelles uh, the, uh, the this dna it is present so it is present in the where that is uh, in the mitochondria and also some of the plastids plastids in the sense you already discussed that is a chloroplast leucoplast okay uh, so in that uh, plastids okay so dna it is present in the mitochondria and also in case of the plastids the dna molecule we will see okay and rna so it is only it acts as a genetic material in case of the viruses okay viruses only matra you know that is a, it acts as a genetic material but this rna it is also present in the cytoplasm of that is a eukaryotic cell okay so and uh, these are of three types of rna different types of rna are there later we will discuss in this chapter okay the rna okay they are participating in the preparation of the protein synthesis okay preparation of the proteins uh, the rna it will be participate with the help of that is the dna okay is it clear students okay so these are the two types of dna and the way it is present when you come to the structure the structure it is uh, what that is a pento sugar okay so here the when you come to the pento sugar okay so this is the structure there was some superficially i am telling later we will, next we will discuss that is a, the structure of the uh, this uh, uh, the chemical composition while you dis while we're discussing we will we will know that uh, what are the different uh, uh, that is uh, structural uh, and the chemical aspects uh, in this in the includes okay so this is the structure it will the appears okay so here there are two functional groups are there okay what are those two functional this is the first carbon uh, term this is the second and this is the third and this is the fourth and the Fifth, okay, here the two functional groups that is the OH is present. Okay, 
the major difference between the DNA and the RNA, okay, what we will call it as? So, in this, that is a OH, okay, the second carbon of that is a, this uh, nucleic acids, the OH, in case of the DNA, the oxygen molecule, it is absent, that is a, what? That is a oxygen molecule, it is absent. And in case of the RNA, that is, once again I will write here, in RNA, what happens? The oxygen molecule, it is present. Okay. So, this made, in case of the DNA, it is the second carbon group. The oxygen is absent. Here, it is present in case of the RNA. So, this made the major difference uh, and also in which it will gives the stability to the DNA molecule to act as a genetic material. Okay. So, the presence of the in the second functional group in the structure of that is a, the DNA sugar. Okay. The oxygen molecule in the second carbon atom is absent and in case of the RNA, the oxygen molecule at the second carbon atom it is present. This made the major difference between the RNA and the DNA and the why the DNA acts as a genetic material in all the eukaryotic cell, in all the most of the um, uh, that is the eukaryotic organisms and the RNA it acts as a only in case of the viruses it acts as a genetic material. Okay. So, in the next uh, uh, that is a uh, video, uh, sorry, in the next session, so we will discuss that is uh, what uh, the chemical composition uh, and uh, what are the uh, molecules it will be included in the nucleic acids, okay.